Hello everybody, this is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob and you can come and visit us in Westlake, Ohio and Naples, Florida. We'll get right to it. Dr. Bob, you really appreciate my tips and reading about various aspects that we talk about. You wanted to know what sugar substitute is there. Honestly, I really don't eat sugar. I don't do maple syrup, I don't do honey, I don't do agave, I don't even do stevia. So the sweetest thing that I may eat would be some organic raisins and I always eat a half an apple a day. So you could get yourself in some situations if you use something artificial also. also. So, you know, I'd love to give you an answer. Try some organic raisins. Dr. Bob, I seem to be getting more sensitive to certain foods. You mentioned gluten was first, dairy, and now peanuts. What I could suggest is you need a digestive aid. Now in our practice, we use a blood test called an OptiChem, and we look at your globulin level. It should be 2.7. Oftentimes you don't have enough digestive enzymes and you're not absorbing your globulin. And in your gut, you have a leaky gut, so all the food that you're eating could cause a sensitivity. Good question. Someone wrote about that they read my guide to optimal health, which we do appreciate that. You have pain in your body, you have physical therapy, hydrotherapy, and exercise, and you want to know what you could do for pain. I would stop. Sugar and dairy will always cause pain. I know I even had an acquaintance of mine that had some Hershey chocolate. Nothing against Hershey, you could have any chocolate. Those kisses, Hershey kisses, and her neck hurt for three weeks. I've seen people that have pain from breath mints. Anything sweet will aggravate your pancreas. Your pancreas secretes enzymes, and we use an enzyme called Intenzyme Forte that really does help a lot. This is a next question. It's interesting. I've seen more advertised about it, advertisements about it. It's called Dupuytren's Contracture, and that's literally when your hand has like gnarly tendons in it. It's common in people who are Northern European. We have used liquid iodine on the wrist or on your hand. You might need to use a laser. Sometimes you'd need B6. It's not an easy condition. Wanted you to know that. Dr. Bob, how do I stop muscle um, atrophy? You know what, it depends on the area in your body where it's at. Is it that you're not using that area anymore? You may consider using some bands and band exercise and you're, you're stretching the area. I didn't have enough to know where your problem was at. How can I heal my bloated stomach? Well, bloated stomach can come for two or three reasons. Reason number one, not enough digestive enzymes. Number two, you could have liver gallbladder distress. And number three, poor food combining. If you have discomfort, bloating right after a meal, it means you need digestive enzymes. If it's two or three hours later, it's liver gallbladder distress. Food combining, you want to eat animal protein with maybe a non-starchy green vegetable. When you put a starch with a, a protein like spaghetti with meatballs, that could cause some distress for some of you out there right now, especially if you're blood type A. What can I do for sciatic pain? You want to find a skilled chiropractor, have films taken standing up, and you want to have an assessment. If you can't find anybody, you can come and visit me in Naples, Florida, or Westlake, Ohio. What vegetables can be eaten raw? I thought that was a really interesting question. You know, I eat vegetables a lot of different ways. You know, I prefer to eat broccoli steamed, but you can eat it raw. You know, collard greens and Swiss chard probably should be steamed. You know, but beans don't taste that good raw, so you don't want to overcook foods, but maybe saute, stir fry. Interesting question. What's the best supplement for ladies over 40? Well, I'm gonna ask you a trick question. When was the last time you saw a cow eating cottage cheese milk or ice cream? I said they don't. I know, they eat hay, grass, and alfalfa. And I'm not suggesting you eat hay, grass, or alfalfa, but some non-starchy green vegetables, and you might need a calcium supplement like a calcium citrate or calcium lactate? Very, very good questions. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.